Hello friends, good afternoon. So this tutorial we are going to learn about the open form C++. Okay, so all the C++ concept I am going to explain using the open form environment. So when you start the C++, the first thing which comes to your mind is that the variables. So in open form there are a wide range of variables present in open form. Okay, so like strings, vector, tensor and fields also there is a scalar okay so this quantity we are going to explore using the open form environment okay okay so these these variables we are going to learn about the, these variables in more details in open form okay so similar to c++ even if you don't know c++ from basic level do you are going to learn everything about the C++ concept in these tutorials so if you want to comment anything that any comment you want to add here you can you have to use this type of so this type of things you are going to use if you want to comment uh, in open form like C++ similar to C++ and if you are one if you want to comment more than one or two line then this type of this type of script you have to write there if you want to comment more than one line okay so what i am saying that we are going to quote uh, this variables and uh, this comment lines what i am saying that you will learn in open so let's uh, open this folder using the clicking the right click and just uh, click here open in the terminals so you will find uh, this linux terminal like this I am going to zoom it out, zoom in this terminal for clear, um, clear, clear view. Okay. Now by tapping ls, I can see here that this many files are present here. Now if you, if we have to first type the of6 command so that the environment will be create created for the open form environment okay now if you want to create any solver that this command is helpful form new app command it will used for used to create any new solver so i have typed open form open form new app command because i am going to create a new solver now i will type let's first learn about the scalar field okay so what is the scalar kind of variable in open form that we are going to learn about using a new solver when i type this command so it is saying that creating application code name directory scalar so it has been created one directory named as scalar and there are other sub directory will be present here that is the name of the main so let's see what it does mean so see here one folder name of the scalar has been created now if you open this it is saying that make folder has been subdirectory make has been created and the name of the file that is a scalar.c has been created so i have opened this scalar.c in a some text okay so in any solver these things are going to present by default okay so this thing things will be uh, present in every type of solver these things you cannot avoid it okay so it is written what uh, the licensing thing and everything about the open form and now this is the the name of the application which after compilation will be created in the folder that is written here the name of the folder is the scalar and this is the description so description you have to write from your side so i can write that scalar quantity okay now similar to like in oc++ you have there should there there used to be one header file that is named as include iostream.h okay similar to include iostream in open form that is called as fvc update so whatever the basic requirements is there if you want to create any solver 
that is included in the fvcfd.h so since fvcfd.h is already present so we are going to just comment out so i said that if you want to comment a single line then you have to use this double colon command okay double slash command will be used if you want to comment out one single line now this is the default structure so the there is another uh, header file is present here that is a set root case start as so this is the used for to check the folder structure okay so this set root case start as check the uh, uh, folder structure like if this is present in the open form directory so it will check that whether it will check that whether 0 comma constant comma system these three folders are present or not if these three folders will not present there then it will shows the error okay so okay so it will show the error so since we are going to just learn about the scalar quantity we don't need to include this file because we don't want to uh, simulate this solver on any test case so we don't need required zero folder constant folder and system folder for present case that's why we are commenting out this this line also now this create time is dot h this is required to create the class of time okay so this create time dot h directly goes to the system folder and in system it will find the control dict file and from control dict file based on the entries available in the control dict file it will create the object of the time okay so from here it will create the object of the time or you can say runtime that we will discuss all about the control dict file and the runtime object but present we don't need the time structure so we are just commenting out this thing also now we also don't need the this because we are not creating any class or any object of the create time is so we also don't need these lines these three lines uh, runtime uh, clock time or runtime so we are commenting out this line also so i remember i told you that if you want to comment out multiple lines then we have to use this this type of commenting out lines now i have commented out all the unnecessary thing which are which you don't uh, which which we will know we will not require now we are going to declare the field scalar suppose i have created one scalar field a equal to 2.0 or b equal to 3.0 okay so this we have created two scalar quantity a equal to 2.0 and b equal to 3.0 so we can create multiple scalar like this like c equal to 4.0 and at the end we have to add the semicolon okay if you don't if we, you, you don't uh, add the semicolon it will show the error now you can just print the scalar quantity like the a equal to a similarly and b equal to b and c equal to c and again at the last we will print we will put the indel indel is used for the if we want to change the line okay 
now let's print the sum also sum equal to a plus b plus c and then okay so in del you have to print if you let's see what if you don't use the in del here okay let's see if we we don't put the end layer then how this will show the output here so to run here to run the solver we have to just compile this so if you compile this w clean dot here so w clean is used to clean the directory means if there is any solver present uh, with the name of the scalar it will clean okay so that's why we run that W clean all. Now we are we are going to compile using the W make. We have compiled it, and it's because we are not in, uh, present in the this is scalar folder. So we have to just list here. Ls is the list the all the folder present here, and we will go to the scalar folder. So now we are present in the scalar folder. Okay. Now once again we have to clean here. And one second, we have to compile. Yeah. Now we are compiling the solver, and it is compiling, and it has been created the solver, and the solver is present here. Okay, so if you go to do this directory, we'll find that one solver is present name of the scalar. Okay, so let's run that scalar. So remember, I told you that we don't need to go to the some test case live type of folder because we have just commented out this thing so since we have commented out this line so we don't need to go to the any folder where project where zero folder is present constant folder is present or system folder is present you can just run the scalar here only okay so if you run here so you can see here that the a is equal to 2 b equal to 3 c is equal to 4 and the sum is 9 okay because we have not written here indel okay so we will add indel here okay now let's run the solver and now if you run here scalar so you can see here that it is printing the sum in the next line so that indel is command to print the value in the next line okay now let's print the multiply and subtract multiply and division of all the quantity okay so let's we are dividing here a by c sorry either let's uh, keep it at the sum let uh, put here uh, multiplication So we can do that a multiply b multiply c and similarly let's put the division so let's divide only two numbers a by c and let's and the last let's uh, add the subtraction And let's uh, write here a minus b minus c okay now let's run this command again so w make and then again we are going to run scalar okay so you can see here that the a b c are of 2 3 4 the sum is 9 multiplication is 24 division is 0 0.5 and sum is subtraction is minus 5 so this is the first variable which is used in the open form that is the scalar in next lecture we are going to learn about the string quantity and uh, all the functions which is being used in this uh, string quantity then after that we will learn about vector and then list and then of course in the last the field quantity so till then 
uh, thanks to all of you watching this video. Thank you.